What's up YouTube, Jason here with Bite My Bits. Today I bring to you episode number two of Battle OS, the new series that I am doing where I am comparing different operating systems to see which one can squeeze out the most performance out of a Plex media server. All right, just like the intro said, I am comparing different operating systems to see which one can perform the best as a Plex media server. Now, if you caught my last video, which I will link in the little cards above, I did compare three different operating systems uh, to see which one was the best. That was Windows 10, Windows 7, and Ubuntu desktop. Now, as I said before, I am kind of sort of focusing on desktop-based environments, ones that are easy point and click for now. I will be diving into to way more server-based applications later but for now, I am just focusing on easy point and clicks. But in today's video, I am kind of dabbling just a little bit into the server environment with Windows Server 2016 with the desktop environments installed. And to compare to that, I am going to be running a different version of Ubuntu, which is Linux Mint. Linux Mint, of course, is kind of a variation from what I'm told is less bloaty than Ubuntu. However, it does still kind of run off the same kernels and all that. I'm no Linux expert, but from what I understand, it's similar, but not not as bloaty, so it should perform differently. At least that's the idea, so I wanted to test it out. Now, I've said this in previous videos before, my testing environment is a dedicated computer. I try to do it with VMs, but that backfired on me. So on this dedicated computer, it will have a total of four cores off of an i7-3770 with hyper-threading disabled. It has 16 gigs of RAM and a 250 gigabyte Samsung Evo SSD. All right, enough talking, let's dive right into the numbers. Starting off with Windows Server 2016 with the desktop environment installed, I was able to get five transcoded streams. That's five transcoded streams, very similar to Windows 7 and Windows 10. And furthermore, just like Windows 7 and Windows 10, I was only able to get one direct stream to play. I could not get a second one to play reliably. It actually was able to convert video or optimize video at a rate of 4.8 times the speed of their video. So if I were to sit down and actually compare these directly with other Windows operating systems, it would technically be slightly better if you were doing any kind of optimization for your media files. But either way, it's basically on par with the rest of the Windows builds. Totally not worth the extra cost that you would spend to get the licensing for it. All right, so this is the exciting part because I installed Linux Mint and I've used Ubuntu Desktop and I was really curious to see how well Mint could perform in comparison to Ubuntu. The numbers, five transcoded streams. And I just barely, almost did not, oh man, I was so close to getting a sixth stream. I seriously got them started and it seemed to play just fine. And I was like whipping out the camera to start recording and, and celebrating, hey, I got six streams. But then it started buffering random streams just periodically. So. I was almost able to get six streams, but technically only five stable streams. But with Mint, I was able to get five direct streams. Now with Ubuntu Desktop, I was only able to get four direct streams on top, of course, the five transcoded streams that I was doing. So that's pretty interesting. The performance was actually very similar and it seems like from these numbers, I'm gonna guesstimate here that maybe six direct streams is the magic number to compare it to, you know, a transcoded streams. Like for example, you could run six direct streams for every transcoded streams that you should be able to run type of thing. And I only say that because I was almost able to get a full transcoded stream on top of the five that already started. So uh, since I was able to get more direct streams, I think that six is the magic number. It's just a guess. But either way, with Linux Mint, I was only able to get 4.5x on the conversion stream, which is exactly the same thing as Ubuntu Desktop, but it did not compare to Windows 10. Really, that doesn't matter because that is only a tiebreaker if, for whatever reason, the servers are exactly the same for transcoded and direct streams. So in this battle OS, Linux Mint is the clear winner. And furthermore, based off of all of my other tests with the other operating systems that I have ran, it is the overall champ for this series. Now I've got a couple ideas for next video, but I do think I'm going to start diving into more server grade applications. I think next video, I'm gonna start going into the Ubuntu server operating system and seeing what it would run without all of the bloatware that comes with Ubuntu desktop. So leave a comment below of what you want to see Ubuntu server compared to uh, for my next video video. I'm going to be reading through the comments and looking for good ideas. Keep in mind, I'm not going to do something like Unraid or FreeNAS because I do want to compare those two head to head. But anyways, thank you for watching guys. Appreciate every single one of you and have a great day.